Even Post Malone blessed the screen. I was like, what the hell is going on? First fight scene, Post Malone is beating the dog shit out of this guy. He's like, and then Jake Gallagher's character shows up with a hoodie on, looking all mysterious. And, 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 and my dude, a post is like, I'll take anybody, any day, any time. Uh, uh, he's, he's acting all macho as soon as Jake's character just removes his hood. And the crowd's like, ooh, we've got a hyena. I'm just kidding, we don't have a hyena. <laughs> That's something, you know, you know how Sway, Sway, be, Sway in the morning be like, We've got a <laughs> So I just I just thought of okay, well okay. Uh, jokes aside, we're, we're talking Roadhouse, uh, the film that's very interesting in my personal opinion. The screen is graced by a lot of great actors. I'm actually surprised uh, Joe Rogan didn't show up. I'm gonna be. I mean, like when they showed those uh, flashbacks of Jake Gyllenhaal's character. Uh, doing you know, in the UFC fight, I was waiting for Joe Rogan to do his famous look. He does this in every fight. If you've ever seen a UFC fight and with Joe Rogan commentating, he does this every time someone gets knocked out. He'd be like, "Oh, oh my God!" Oh. I'm like, "Joe Rogan, come on, bro." Anyway, uh, enough silly jokes. Um, so I was expecting that. I'm disappointed. I don't know. A part of my mind when I saw Post Malone, I was like. I think Joe Rogan is going to show up here, but in comes the Russian, no, not Russian, in comes, I, I prepared this, <clears throat> in comes the Irishman, Connor, fucking McGregor, oh man, this guy was macho as fuck, bro, okay, maybe the volume is too loud, let me, let me reduce that a little bit, because I'm screaming, bro, 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 I'd be like, Connor walked in like, oh, macho and shit, butt naked. First scene this nigga does in a film, hates butt naked. That's what, that's the notorious for you, man. That's the notorious Irish man. I was like, man, I feel like drinking some whiskey or something. Because that shit was bomb, man. That shit was dope. That shit was dope. Anyway, McGregor crawls out of the screen, out of the, a window, basically. Which, I, I'm assuming, he was fucking someone's wife. But who gives a fuck? He walking out, butt naked, fam. Butt naked. And he does some Terminator shit. You know the Terminator where Arnold Schwarzenegger, 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 whatever his damn name is, shows up, butt naked, and then points at a guy in a bar and says, give me your jacket. Shit like that. I don't I remember. I watched the movies years ago. Anyway, he did that shit. He was butt naked. He took a jacket off a nigga. And then he was wearing that jacket. He was looking cool. And he got a phone call. Who puts his phone in his fucking sock in his boot? This nigga fucked a girl wearing socks and boots. You gotta give the man some props, man. <laughs> oh, God, I'm a burger. I love that guy. I really love that guy. That guy is macho. He really made this movie for me. Hey, don't take anyway anything from Post Below fight. That was a pretty good fight team with Post Below. I gotta be. That was pretty good. I don't know how much money he made for that, but he looked good. Anyway, Jake is a former UFC fighter. I think he's thrown out of the UFC or the fighting world because he killed a nigga in a fight. So he just lost it and just pounded that nigga. Just beat the crap out of this guy. Just Beat them, beat them dirty and nasty, and the nigga did. So everybody's afraid of this nigga in the fighting world, which makes it interesting. The first few scenes, the first scene when everybody realized who the fuck this nigga is, they're like, "Oh shit, I don't want no smoke, bro. I don't want no smoke." And this nigga was doing the most. He was breaking nigga fingers. He was breaking nigga bones. He was doing. He was. He was. Goddamn, Steven Seagal. You know Steven Seagal be breaking everybody's bones and he never get punched in the face. But this Jake fella was getting punched in the face. He was getting punched in the face. He even got stabbed, nigga, with a knife. And he was like, oh, okay, there's nothing more bad. This movie was full of badass shit. I mean, like, who gets stabbed? Like, stabbed in his stomach, basically. Well, next to the, whatever. He just get, this nigga gets stabbed. And then instead of... <laughs> Like, I would do it. Anybody would be like, oh my god, you stabbed me. Oh, shit. And stop fading with this nigga. You know what this nigga did? 
He was like, are you really going to do this? And the nigga that just stabbed him was like, nigga, I got to get out of here. I got to save my life. Like, this the crazy shit. And there was a whole lot more of that shit. Like, there's this scene. I know I'm spoiling this shit. I apologize, my nigga. But it has to be done. Because this movie was the bomb. This movie was dope, son. I mean, like, there's five of you. Remember that, um, what's that movie called? Jack Reacher. The one with, uh, the, the movie. Not, 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 not the series. The movie with, um, with Tom Cruise. Where he beats up, up five guys or so. You know? He starts warning them as well. So, Jake Gellhell does the same thing, but he only does it beautifully. First thing, he's like, let's go outside. He tells these niggas, come on, get out of here before we crash this place, because I'm going to beat the shit out of you, niggas. And wait, they don't listen. He's like, okay, are those bikes outside yours? And they're like, yeah. My... And this other dumb guy's like, the red one is mine. <laughs> and when he walks outside, and they're like, oh my God, this guy might trash our bikes. So, they rush behind him. While they outside, he's like, I just want to get you niggas outside. Now I got you outside. Okay, he didn't actually say the word nigga, but I'm just saying nigga to add more flavor. <laughs> anyway, so my nigga Jake is like, how far is the nearest hospital? Now, I don't give a shit. Let me sit properly. Let me fix this angle here so you understand. I, I, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit how tough you are, how great you are. If a nigga, or a white man, or anybody for that, I don't know why I keep saying nigga, I'm saying nigga a lot. If anybody about to, and there are five, four of you niggas, and this man is like, where's the nearest hospital? I'm fucking leaving. I don't care if there's just 15 of us. What kind of superhero shit is that? Where's the nearest hospital? Nigga, you outnumbered. What you talking about? But no, 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 no. Not this nigga Delton. This nigga Delton is something else. He asked these niggas where the nearest hospital was, and they thought he was tripping. But no, 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 no. He wasn't tripping, tripping. He broke them niggas' hands. He broke them niggas' ankles. He probably broke them nigga ribs, too. Broke them nigga noses. He broke them niggas up. He fucked them niggas up. He fucked them so good, the whole town knew his name the next fucking day. I mean, like, that's what I call an ass whooping. You beat niggas up, and everybody in town know about you? God damn. This nigga walked in the morning, everybody was like, hi, Delta. Hi, Delta. Hi. And this nigga was like, did these motherfuckers ever tell me about me? <laughs> I'm like, that's crazy. That's not even the crazy part yet. After this nigga, Jake's character, or Dillard, Delton, whatever, beat these niggas up, you're not going to believe what he did. This nigga drove him to the hospital himself. Drove him to the ER. Handed him them. He handed them to the nurses by her motherfucker self. He said, take them niggas, I beat them niggas up. <laughs> I was like, God damn, this is some crazy shit, man. Who the hell does this? This is some superhero Mario shit. I'm like, who beats people up? Takes them to the hospital and tells the doctor, I beat them motherfuckers. And them niggas are grateful. <laughs> man, that movie was fun. And I haven't even talked about McGregor's interest. I haven't even talked about McGregor. Fighting in concrete. I haven't even talked about McGregor beating up, fighting with, with Delton or Jake's character uh, on a boat. I haven't even talked about. I haven't even talked about McGregor slapping everybody's ass. I haven't even talked about nigga killing a nigga. But like, who does that? Who punches a nigga in the throat, breaking his throat, whatever neck, whatever thing, making him dead, puts him in ice, and takes him to the beach, shoots him with a cop's. Shoots him with a cop's gun. And then tells the cop, I'm going to beat your head so hard, you won't remember the next two minutes. Remember the next two minutes? I was like, oh, damn, nigga, how is this nigga doing this? I get it. He's in the, he was in the UFC. He knows when I hit you this way, you're going to get a concussion. 
So this nigga beat this nigga with a with a bat or a wood, a piece of wood, back of the head. Boom, boom. <laughs> I'm making sound effects now. <laughs> it's the eight wonder of the world. He was like, boom. And nigga forgot everything. It's beautiful, dude. It's just beautiful. I'm going to tell you this, though. That was a good movie. That was a really good movie. I don't know why it took so long to watch it. Uh -uh. I mean, like, this McGregor guy needs to act in a lot of great movies. I mean, like, he needs to be in everything. I want him in John Wick 7 or 15. I don't know how many John Wicks this nigga finna do, but they should put him in that, too. Man, they should put him in Fast and Furious so he can beat Vin Diesel's ass up. I want him in everything. I want McGregor in everything that's got to fight. I want him in the next Deadpool with Wolverine and shit. I know it's too late, but I want him in that, too. God damn it, wherever there's a fight in a movie, I want McGregor. Because he's walking in there all martial. Chest out, back. You know that YouTube, you know that, you know that TikTok video of a skinny guy who was like niggas from the gym be acting like this? I feel like they can't get through dolls and shit. That's how McGregor was walking, man. But he wasn't pretending to be buff. This nigga was buff, buff. This nigga was dope, dope. This nigga was... The shit, man. His legs. Everything was in point. I'm like, my brother's been hitting the gym. My brother's been hitting the gym. He was hitting the gym. Okay, I, I know. Too excited. So, anyway, um... Uh, now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.